Mel and Elle with Patriot Gardens. Ellie's filming yet again. And last time I had went through some hydroponic, aeroponic production and Elle's can pan the tower a little bit. Um, you can see that since last time, uh, strawberries are doing really good and we've added lettuce. So, with that said, the other thing we had mentioned doing was trying to teach you guys how to do some of your own hydroponics that aren't going to use a system like this, but just being able to take some different things you might have around the house or with your uh, recent orders that are coming in and how you can put together your own little hydroponic system, just really uh, a low cost system at that. So what we have here, this is a planter box that actually I had gotten over the years. Um, Home Depot and Lowe's have them. They're called City Pickers. These are about 20 bucks a pop. And I like these because they come on wheels. So even though this one now is full of water, I'm able to move it around, at least here within our setting that has pavers down. What we're looking at here is, this is simply a container to hold your water. You know, at some point you'll add some nutrient to this and everything, but literally Ellie can come take a picture. All we've done is use this as a container for the water for the uh, very passive hydroponic system. Okay, so since we had done lettuce up there, I had some extra lettuce seedlings. Actually, one of our airmen has been growing out some seedlings, so these little babies then I took and I wrapped in a little net pot. Um, it's just almost like a, a little planter bag and wrapped it in there so my soil that they were grown in is still contained. And what we're going to do is, a lot of people now as they're getting in different supplies, things are coming packed in just a foam board or you know to keep anything that's breakable in shipping so I have a lot of this foam sitting around foam floats so does insulation board so all we needed to do was look at here's a board I have these net cups that go along with our hydroponic system from earlier literally cut holes in the board I'm not going to show you how to cut a hole. I think that's self-explanatory, right? Cut the hole, size of cup, insert cup. It's that difficult, okay? So, once I have the holes in place, Ellie can take a picture of this. Container full of water. Floats on the water, take the little seedling that we've already prepared, and he sits in the cup, okay? So then we have the nutrient that's down in here. Um, we, there's some different hydroponic fertilizers that are um, available. Um, we can always add some text to be able to give you guys some ideas of what you could use. But literally, I took two boards, cut the holes in the board, set them in. I've only had these just with regular water for right now. I will add some nutrient in this next week. And like I said, we'll give you guys some ideas on that. The only other thing you need to look at is, this is a very simple aquarium bubbler. So fish need oxygen, these little pumps, push air back into our um, fish tanks. What I've got is aquarium tubing. My hair is in my face. Aquarium tubing. All you need to do is then be able to sit your bubbler on the side and look. Now we have air bubbles. So all this is gonna do is keep this water from being stagnant. It's gonna put the oxygen back into the water through the bubbles and then that will help 
the root system. So as you see with our aeroponic system over here, the oxygen from the pumping of the nutrient in the tank up to the top, that keeps all of that oxygenated and it makes for really, really healthy root growth. If we didn't add the bubbler, then number one, this would become a stagnant cesspool that probably mosquito larvae and everybody would come hang out in. And we don't want that. That's not what we're trying to grow. Um, but this then also provides that oxygen for that root system. Okay, so this could be done as large or as small as you want. This right here, six heads of lettuce. You know, you, you seed out lettuce, you have 24 day turnaround from the time you seed to the time you're able to eat in essence, if, if temperatures are right. Six head, head of lettuce definitely is something that can support a small family. Um, be able to replenish, plant them at different times. Um, but you can do larger systems. Uh, so I just wanted to show you this concept it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be something that comes straight off the market. Whatever tank you can find that you that will hold water, that's all you need. Once again, this um, styrofoam or insulation board, anything that'll float, stick a hole in it. You don't have to have the fancy net cups. I could have made the holes the size of my plants and stuck them right in. But this gives me the spacing that I need really for the lettuce to be able to grow out. So make sure that, that you take in consideration how much space your plant's going to need, but try it. Um, you really can't mess it up. It's, it's very, very simple. And guess what? You don't have to worry about your plant being watered. The water's already there. So if you, if you have a hard time remembering to go out and water those containers, Maybe this is something that'll work good for you. But just some thoughts on a very passive hydroponic system. Uh, we'll get back in touch and we'll, we'll let you see how these have progressed in the next couple weeks. And we hope you are getting your hands dirty or in this case, you're getting your hands in some water. We'll talk to you later. Thank you, bye-bye.